To me, the movie is about lost love. It's about unfulfilled love. Alan, I have a funny feeling. I find it's very fascinating that this young gay love story and the loss of that shaped a man who actually created the computer and the computer came out of a loss, an idea to try to recreate a consciousness. Alan Turing was not burdened down by normality. <laughs> I think it's impossible not to be fascinated or intrigued or outraged when, when you hear the story for the first time. And it, it shocked me actually that, that I didn't know more about him when I read the script. And what is it that we're really doing? We're going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Oh. It's a huge responsibility to, when, you, when you're dealing with real life persons in real life events, to do it accurately. You have to sort of like convey the emotional accuracy in many ways. And that's why I wanted it to feel like a thriller. I mean, he was 27 years old and he ends up with all these incredible secrets being dumped on his shoulder and all this incredible pressure. If you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed for high treason. How would it feel to be Alan Turing? To me, that's the, that's the heart of it. That got him to like you. It's all these people who are not fitting into the norm. These people who are sort of like these outsiders who are different and how important that is. Alan Turing was able to come up with this extraordinary idea because he could look at the world from a different point of view. One thing is that he was a closeted gay man, but he was also somebody who had a mind that worked differently. He, when most of us saw something, he saw something else. That was how his mind worked. These are the people we need to listen to and celebrate.